We are building our businesses on the sand in this industry. Um, everything we're doing, of course, depends on what, what you're doing. If you're a property manager, host, or maybe you are a service, you know, software service provider or any kind of service provider. Um, most of us, uh, most of our businesses depend on, on the platform, on the OTAs. Um, most of our businesses would suffer if the OTA decided to deplatform you or remove your, the, the API or limit the API or you know, charge for the service of the API or whatever. I mean, we are so interconnected with them that we are at high risk. Um, and the risk, again, as with the platforming, is not about being kicked out. This is, of course, rare. Once you are deplatformed, uh, you're not making money for them anymore. So they try not to deplatform you, but they are pretty free to squeeze you out of, of all the margins. Um, when you don't have a choice as a customer or you know, as a provider, uh, when your only provider is of, of customers is, is a platform and the platform knows that, it is basically you know, guaranteed they, they, they can try to increase their profits against yours. Um, now, it is really risky. Uh, if you really want to plan, plan long term, there is no way, f I think there is no really way we, we can continue in this way. Uh, we need to build an open platform. The industry, the whole vacation rental, home sharing, whatever you want to call it, uh, industry, needs to be built on something more solid. And solid means open. Uh, one of the reasons why the internet became so wildly successful, it's because it's open. Do not think, do not make this mistake. Internet, the, the internet was successful because it found a way to, tr to transport data. There's better ways than TCP IP, I guarantee you. Actually, TCP IP was a bad, like, you know, looking, looking back now after 25 years, it's, it's not a good way to, not the best way to uh, transport data. The, the big thing about the internet was it was open, decentralized, censorship resistant, borderless. I mean, the thing is you can build something on the internet and nobody can stop you because the internet doesn't have a switch off button. Okay. You don't need to ask for permission. So, Everybody could build a business on the internet and the internet didn't, couldn't really kick them out, you know? This is the main thing. And if we are able to build booking platforms with the same concept and we can today with the blockchain, with the open blockchain, then everything will change. Uh, first of all, transporting data got cheaper with internet and now bookings will be virtually free instead of being charged for, you know, 15 or 20%. And then you can plan long term and then you don't need to make specific uh, agreements. You don't need to negotiate every single integration because everything can be integrated for free. And again, in a non-permissioned way. Um, and I really think if this industry wants to, to thrive, uh, we need to get rid of OTAs, of centralized OTAs, we need and we have the possibility today to build an underlying platform which is open and that doesn't mean that it belongs to trips even trips you know is building on other open source and uh, if you build something on trips you are from from day one you're free to uh, build on other similar projects without any development any extra development because everything is is uh, completely integrated so uh, the idea here is to build something open, uh, shared by everybody, uh, where everybody can be 100% sure that they won't be uh, damaged or, or kicked out at any moment, okay? So uh, I'm, I'm not explaining this very well today. I don't know why it's, uh, I don't know if I'm talking to, you know, technical people or not. I always try to, to keep it as simple as possible. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, I have this example, you know, the tiras, tiramisu cake. Okay, that's like open source. Uh, it's an open platform. You can make a tiramisu. You don't need to ask permission to anybody. You can build, you can make a tiramisu 
uh, restaurant because the recipe is open. Nobody's going to ask you for copyrights or going to come with a patent on tiramisu. It's there. You just do it. It belongs to everybody else. Now, try to do the same thing with some uh, patented uh, food or like Coca-Cola, right? If you want to sell Coca-Cola, you have to buy it from Coca-Cola and you have to sell it at their own uh, conditions, etc., etc. So, um, if you build a Coca-Cola shop, you have to hope that Coca-Cola wants you to, to, to thrive. Um, if you build a tiramisu shop, go for it. It doesn't even really matter who invented it. By the way, it was probably invented in Italy. We don't really know where. Somebody says Treviso, somebody says Frioli, somebody says Piemonte. It doesn't matter, right? In the same way as it doesn't matter who invented Bitcoin, who is Satoshi Nakamoto? It doesn't matter because the code is open. I know it, can, it could be like hard to grasp for non-technical people, but that's the thing. We don't care who, who Satoshi Nakamoto is. We don't care who invented the tiramisu. We don't care if Trips is going to go sideways or me as the big boss of Trips, I'm going to go crazy. It doesn't matter. Whatever we do is open source. You just pick it up from there. And actually, we encourage you from the first day to, you know, to build your business on several projects like, like Trips. So, um, we need to do that because we are uh, we're building our business on the sand and uh, it may be not apparent for everybody today but it's getting more and more clear as the time passes by so that's our proposal let's do something together let's make it open and let's build a very strong base for for our businesses